Welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today I present the Lafroig QA. Quality and assurance? No. Uh, it means Quercus Alba. Quercus is Latin, or Quercus Alba is Latin, and Quercus stands for oak, and Alba means white. So this means white oak or American white oak, and in American white oak bourbon is typically matured. Um, Lafroig is famous for their maturation in ex-bourbon casks and they use used them two three times, I don't know exactly. Um, and uh, if you want to have more oakiness, more spiciness of the oak in a Lafroig you have to yeah, mature in another wood as well. So there is the quarter cask, I have to taste some time in the near future, uh, where you fill the content of the ex-bourbon casks after a certain maturation period into small casks, uh, which are only a fourth of the size of an American oak cask, so it's quarter cask, and in those small casks the whiskey matures faster. And there's the triple wood, uh, where you then fill it into uh, European oak casks, which had sherry before. So in this Quercus Alba was matured typically in these American ex-bourbon casks and then filled into fresh American white oak casks. Fresh means they are toasted for uh, the thermal activation of the wood and charred, uh, but they were not used before for the maturation of bourbon. So this means the double maturation, first typically Lafroig maturation as the 10 year old, which I tasted here, uh, uh, as also, and a second period in these uh, fresh Quercus Alba casks. A second maturation in new American white oak Quercus Alba casks. The result is a unique fusion of peat smoke and vanilla wood notes. Yeah, peat smoke Lafroig uh, is called the most richly flavored of all Scotch whiskey. Whiskies. <laughs> no other company <laughs> argued against that. Uh, distilled on the remote island of Isla, off the west coast of Scotland, on the south coast of Isla. So on the back side, a lot of text. Wigelands and craftsmanship hold the key to this amazing fusion of flavors. The first maturation in ex-bourbon barrels, followed by a transfer to new American white oak casks, Quercus Alba in Latin. This second intense maturation creates a blend. Intense, yes, the first maturation, typically of the bourbon casks, uh, the aromas from the wood is going into the bourbon. And for the Scotch whiskey, there's less, less left, less left. This second intense maturation in those fresh casks creates a blend of peat smoked balance with warm spicy vanilla notes. The length of time this powerful stage takes varies, meaning each cask is carefully selected and by hand to ensure the exact balance of flavors. Yeah, Lafroig and each cask differently. I think they, they build groups, say, well, this is third fill, this is second fill, and each of those group is then individually further matured. I don't know, uh, but if you're going with those uh, bottles into the travel value, I think the volume is so uh, immense that you can't treat every cask individually. Marketing. Lafroig meaning beautiful hollow by the broad bay, has married malted barley with smoke from our native peat to produce the most richly flavored of all Scotch whiskey since 1815. Distilled on the tiny island of Isla off the west coast of Scotland, the flavor is as untamed as the ocean itself. 
40% ABV, one liter bottle, travel value exclusive. Oh, very smoky. And this is no natural cork, it's a cork from tiny parts. So these uh, corks from tiny parts very rarely uh, tastes. Uh, have this cock tooth bad cock taste. It's a little darker than the typically 10 year old. The fresh American oak casks uh, <clears throat> transfer a lot of caramelized uh, wood sugars into the spirit. Therefore, they're from the color goes into the whiskey. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> a lot of peat smoke. Oh, it takes quite a time to, to taste something through this intense uh, smokiness. Oh. The 10 year old, I tested here, has the exact the same smokiness in the nose. <clears throat> so the, the way the raw whiskey was produced for this uh, QA uh, was the same as the 10 year old, as every Lafroic. They dry the barley over peat smoke. And they're from this, uh, uh, drying of the barley, uh, the smoke uh, comes into the whiskey. Very aromatic, <clears throat> but uh, still one dimensional. There appears a, a very slight uh, spiciness in the back, which is not normal to a Lafroig. This has to come from the casks. Vanilla notes appear. It's becoming sweeter. It takes quite a time until your brain uh, masks the smoke so that you're able to detect other uh, smells into this wow, intense aroma. Vanilla, a little light sweetness. Mmm, mm hmm Spice. Your tongue is covered and prickling. Your tongue. There's no bitterness at all, which is typically for European wood. This is American white oak, Quercus alba. No bitterness, spiciness, and a long aftertaste. The smokiness as well as the cask cover your mouth in full. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> a strong whiskey for strong characters. If you love <laughs> sweet and <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, flowing whiskies, no, this one is intense, attacking and attacking your tongue, attacking your nose. It's it's strong from the inside, and those Quercus alba casks they give more intenseness to the whiskey. Thank you for watching whiskey.com and stay tuned.